On-tap plumbing and gas covers all Perth areas from Mandurah to Two Rocks and has a team of plumbing, drainage and hot water experts. They have an amazing reputation for their excellent service and quality workmanship on time, every time, and it is easy to see why they are a favourite to many Perth property managers. Whether you just need some friendly advice or an obligation-free quote, look no further than On Tap Plumbing and Gas. Welcome to the PM Collective, a dynamic hub designed to empower business owners, property managers and BDMs to excel in their careers. Through access to intimate conversations, cutting edge of video training, mental health support and unparalleled motivation, our community is the ultimate destination for individuals seeking to elevate their professional lives to new heights. So sit back, relax and enjoy our next conversation on our weekly podcast, The Art of Property Management. It's been a while since I have done a podcast just on my own without any guests. So today you have me all to yourself and I am going to have a quick chat to you about what I'm doing in my business from a BDM point of view. And I think it's always really good to share your stories because I think people are quite interested in how people are performing, what are they doing in their business. And for me in the BDM world, for the BDM that are listening and even for the business owners that are listening that um, are wanting to scale their business, I have been sitting or our office has been sitting on bringing in sort of between 25 to say 30 leads per month, which is really, really great. And that's just a bit of a um, our benchmark that we've got. And the offices that I speak to, generally most offices are happy when their BDMs bring in about 10 properties per month and really happy if the BDMs bring in 15 per month and then ecstatic if they bring in 20. So to give you an idea of sort of what other offices are doing and, and wanting, they are the stats that um, I have noticed in offices. And so for me, like I get a little bit bored when we've got the same numbers coming through and I'm always looking at different ways to push our capacity. So for me and my office, we are going to be looking to try and increase these leads to sort of the 40, 50 per month. That's where I would like to see them getting to in the next six months. I want to be able to do that without having another BDM. So what that means is that we need to create some much better capacity uh, in our workflow that we're doing to be able to handle that volume. So that's what we are in the process of doing at the moment. The other thing that is going through my mind is that at the um, at the moment, we have a lot of the leads coming through from interstate investors and buyers agents. And so I'm not naive to the fact that they are not going to be here forever. So we're taking advantage of it now, but give it another, say, two years. I don't think we're going to be getting leads from them because they're going to be shifting states and going to another state that is uh, better performing than Perth. So to make sure that we're protected for when that happens, I need to pick up the local marketing in our area so that the leads that we're bringing in, say, I'd like to see them be 50% local leads and then 50% interstate leads. So to do that, the plan that I have got in place is to increase our social media, or actually not even to increase, to actually do it because I don't do it at the moment, uh, do some social media advertising using Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn, but actually doing more the paid ads. I'm not sure whether it's going to work or not. I'm going to be giving it a go for six months, six months, um, just to see if I can get some local traction there. So I've got my suburbs that I've chosen. I actually haven't chosen necessarily the South Perth area, which is where I am. I've actually done some research and had a look at different areas that I feel that there is a lack of strong property management presence. So I think that's maybe something for people to consider if they're open to different areas, is having a look at the suburbs that have got the strong real estate agents. There's no point advertising there, but looking at some other suburbs that are still not too far away, but I think will have good opportunity because there's no one strong player. So that is something that I've taken into account and we'll start that online marketing, hopefully in the next three or four weeks. The last thing that we are doing is just um, refining the branding for the business. So we've just gone through 
and um, checked our font and our colors and things like that just to really get that consistency. So we've had to work on that in the background. And the capacity and the AI that we're doing, I guess AI is an interesting one because people get quite scared to use it because they want to have control of everything. And what I want to stress is that with the AI that we're implementing into our business, we have full control over it. So the the other thing to keep in mind is that the clients shouldn't notice that we are using AI and automation within the business. Like that's the name of the game is to have it in your system and have it um, in your processes, but for no one to notice that you've got it. So that's exactly what we're doing. One thing that I've just put in place is automatic rent appraisals. So literally with a click of a button, I can just put in the price that I want to appraise a property at and the automation will email me through the email and an attached PDF of the rental appraisal for the client. So that's definitely going to be saving us a lot of time. And we are also just putting in some other automations when it comes to the workflow for new business appraisals, etc., so that we can handle a high volume um, of leads, hopefully, when they come through. So I think On the face of it, when people look at each other from a, you know, from a BDM point of view and you look at each other on social media, it's very easy just to see the face of it and to see all the leads coming through. But I just wanted to share the actual back end stuff because there's actually a lot of thought and processes in the back end that goes into the system to create those leads. And I think sometimes when the easier you make something look, the more work you've put behind the scene. So I feel that that's quite relevant for uh, my BDM work that I'm doing and the leads that I'm bringing through as well. So a lot of thought process and strategic tactics going in. So for my PM Club members, I am going to be sharing some more information with you all with regards to the actual automations I'm putting in place so that if they work, I will be letting you know so that you can also put them inside your business as well. And like anything, whether it's AI or virtual assistants and just that support for that capacity, I always say it's about collecting minutes. So it's so easy to just say to yourself, oh, it only takes me a couple of minutes to do that or one minute to to do that. And the problem is, is all those minutes add up and then you can become quite overwhelmed. And then the problem is, is that in the new business position, you're going to be so busy just doing paperwork and not have that much time to prospect. It's not going to be counterproductive. So the more minutes that you can collect with the backend automation, the more minutes you're going to have available to actually prospect and and do your social media and do your content. So that is what I'm wanting. And that's my goal is to be able to bring in 50 new management per month with one BDM and some kick-ass automation in the back end. So for those that are PM Club members, I will share with you that journey and all the strategies I'm putting in place for those of you that are not yet PM Club members and are interested in joining and just getting a little bit more inside knowledge into business and BDM by someone who's actually physically doing it day to day, then head over and check the details out pmcollective.com.au. Co provide reliable, fully trained professionals to assist you with running and scaling your property management department, providing high quality, pre trained virtual assistants ready to hit the ground running and revolutionize the way you run your portfolio, ensuring your time is spent doing the high value tasks inside your rent roll that really matter. 
Not long ago, VAs within a business were considered a luxury. Now they are a staple for any business needing reliable support without the headache of traditional staffing. To find out more, head over to theassociatesco.com.